all of the teams here at the first round site in Denver arrived either Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday night. However, not the Seton Hall Pirates. Kevin Willard made sure his team got out here late Monday to adjust to the altitude factor, and it's something that his players have noticed. I think the first day we got here, it was kind of tough. You know, it was kind of tough to breathe, but our trainers did a good job. They had a lot of water there, um, oxygen pumps. But today, it was a lot better. Um, you know, it kind of feel a little normal now. Do you feel like Coach added some extra conditioning to the practices outside of here at the arena? Yeah, definitely. We didn't go as long, but we did a lot of sprints just to um, kind of get our wind under us. I think he did a good job of that. We had a better practice today than yesterday. More than anything, the time change and the altitude, we wanted to get used to. First day, kind of hit the guys a little bit, but we practiced today for a good two hours. And I think once you kind of get used to it, um, it doesn't take long to kind of for your body to adjust. Kadeem was talking about a better practice uh, than the day before. Was it more conditioning? What did you add? No, I think the biggest thing was, you know, we, we've been through a, a couple of really emotional days, uh, win, winning the Big East Championship, going through Selection Sunday. Uh, then we traveled Monday. So Tuesday's practice was a little bit more of kind of just a long travel day, kind of getting used to the altitude. Uh, today was more or less getting back to work, getting focused, and getting ready for a big game tomorrow. Besides the mandatory 45-minute practice here at the Pepsi Center, Seton Hall also practiced for nearly two hours at another location. Kevin Willard wants his team at optimum strength to face the 11 seeded Gonzaga Bulldogs. From Denver, Colorado this week in the first round of the NCAA tournament, I'm Vin Parisi, SNY.